So this is the LH3C. This is the third iteration of the digital halo harp design. And I've scaled it up. And you're probably wondering why I would scale it up and build it on a 12-inch pizza tray. Well, the reason I did that is to make it easy to work on, because I'm still in the experimental phase here. Rather than try to go for the gold and make a production model right away, I thought, why not take a step back, get everything working just perfect, and then I can go have the printed circuit boards etched and I don't end up blowing money on some stupid mistake. So basically what's going on here is these are little light emitting diodes uh, and right next to it there is a little cadmium sulfide photoresistor and what it's, what it's doing is it's pulsing the LEDs on and right before it pulls the LED on it takes a reading from the cadmium sulfide cell and then it pulls the LED on, it takes a reading with the LED in the on position, and, it, and uh, then it compares those two numbers. And the difference between those two numbers is analogous to the backscatter that's coming off of my finger. So if you look over here, we have a little MIDI jack that is called a 5-pin DIN, and it is wired up to the microcontroller, which is our centerpiece, the basic stamp 2 development board. And uh, that's basically all there is to this thing. Uh, this backscatter scheme works beautifully, and I'm definitely going to incorporate it into the production model. Uh, I just want to have some LEDs that are coming in. These are 5,500 millicandel LEDs, and I'm resisting them down to probably half that. I have an order of 50,000 millicandel blue LEDs that are just beautiful and uh, so it's going to be way brighter and look way cooler and it'll also work better with those LEDs. So uh, I will show you the MIDI operation pretty soon but I might, I might wait for the LEDs to come in before I shoot the MIDI video because I want it to be badass.